Good morning and welcome to 2013. Al Winco here. We're in the shop. It's a brisk 24 degrees outside and we're going to do some new rigging videos. First off is the Predator Swimming Worm which comes in three sizes. A 6 inch, 7 and a quarter inch, and a new to be released 10 inch worm. These are rigged on custom flutter heads with the weight strategically located towards the rear of the hook. The 6 inch worm takes a 2 aught Mustad Ultra Point hook. We take the Hitchhiker Coil Keeper, we center it on the head, and we turn the bait clockwise or to your body. All the way up on the Hitchhiker. Pass the clip. Now we're going to stop. We're going to hold the worm up in the air, and we can see that the light blue belly is on the up side so we want to rotate this there's also a seam along the worm that can guide you okay now we're going to take the hook and place it against the worm and put our finger where the rear of that hook where the bend is should go put it into the worm straight through the top This is where needle sticking comes in. It's important that you learn this technique to fish this bait in submerged wood and weeds. We pull the worm forward slightly, push the hook down a little bit, and just put the tip in the worm. Now when the bass comes along and mouths the worm, they press the worm down, the hook is exposed and you got them. We'll do a seven and a quarter inch worm. This is a three odd hook. This happens to be a green pumpkin, golden brown chartreuse laminate. Centering the hitchhiker, pressing against the coil keeper, and rotating the worm clockwise towards your body. Let's see where that light color bottom is. It's very, very close. We can go around one more time. We have our worm rigged correctly, and now we're going to needle stick that hook point into the worm. Pull the baits forward slightly. This is the tip in that worm. There it is. It'll come through weeds and wood without snags. The bass hit it, pop, and the tip of the worm comes out. Last but not least is the new 10-inch Predator swimming worm. This is on a 7-aught swim bait hook. This happens to be an 8-ounce head. They are available in other weights. Center of the hitchhiker, turn towards your body. This worm is not laminated, so it doesn't matter which color is up. You can see we have a seam along that worm. You want that seam to go down. Okay. You can see this is not turned enough. There we go. Now we have a tail hanging down in line with the hook. Properly rigged, hanging straight. No, not quite straight. It's important that these worms get rigged properly so that they swim with a natural tail action. Easy to do, just pull the hook out, twist it till you get it proper. Alright, here we go. In the seam. Straight through the worm. Pull the worm forward just a little bit. Needle stick the hook point in there. Your finger slides right across without getting. Oh, now I see I pulled the worm out and the hook stuck in me. Just a tip, just like that. Okay, that concludes the Predator swimming worm rigging tips.
This segment deals with rigging the River Darter swim baits. These were introduced early in October last year, only because there was a delay in obtaining the molds. They come in three sizes, three inch, 3.75 inch, and 4.75 inch. They're available in solid colors and laminated colors, two and three and even four color. This is a custom made darter head or swim bait head if you will. It has double barbs to hold the swim bait securely in place, which is very important with swim baits. It's a Mustad Ultra Point hook, and there's a 3D eye on the front of the jig head. This is a 1 16th ounce. The 3 inch model is the only model that has a solid belly on it. You notice we have a seam on the top. Very important when you want to bring the hook out. Put the hook in the center of the swim bait. Don't let the swim bait roll while you're doing this. Bring it around the bend of the hook. Now we look on top and you can see that seam. We're bringing the hook right out in the dead center of that bait. Balance is very important with a swim bait. So, and we have a rig swim bait. This will fall straight and swim straight with that lively tail. Some sw swim baits will not do anything with a 1 16th ounce head on. These will work very, very well, especially for creeks and shallow rivers. And we use these in the lakes during the winter. Next, we'll move up to the 3.75 inch swim bait. This has a hook slot in it. And it can be rigged with a darter head, open hook, or with a flutter head. Again, rotate, look for that seam on the top of that swim bait. Bring the hook out in the center. It's a 3.75 inch swim bait rigged on an 8th ounce starter head. I prefer to use these in the lakes. This will also work in a river, but if you're dealing with very severe rock structure, submerged rock structure, you may want to go with the flutter head. 3.75, this happens to be the gizzard shad model. Again, a little bit of chartreuse on the tail can make a difference some days. We're going to rig this with an 8th ounce flutter head which is the most popular way for depths to 12 feet of water. Put the hook inside the slot, bring it back. Bring it up through the center of the swim bait. And this is the way we rig them. This is called Texposed Rigging. Again, if you're in weeds or wood, pull it back a little bit. Needle stick that hook slightly into the bait so that hook point does not catch any wood or weeds. The fish hit it, exposes the hook. Next is the 4.75 inch swim bait, equally effective for largemouth and smallmouth bass. They both have hook slots in them. Two different ways of rigging. This is a swim bait head, this happens to be a quarter ounce, with a hitchhiker coil keeper. You've got to maintain pressure to get around that first turn on the hitchhiker. Once you do that, they will basically thread themselves. Now you can see where that hook wants to come out of that. Here's a little trick you can do, but you've got to be careful with this because magic markers will bleed, which means they will spread. I will take this and put a little dot here. See that dot? That's where we're going to bring the hook point out. Into the hook slot. And 
I have it right through our dot. Ready to go to work, ready to swim. Text pose hook. Very effective for all types of cover. Again, it can you can needle stick this hook very simply, pull the bait forward. Let the hook go in just a little bit, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch of the tip. Fish hit it, they press it down. Here's a three-odd hook and an eighth-ounce flutter head on the 4.75-inch swim bait. Again, I like to come all the way up past that clip. Again, what I'm doing is, I have a little mark where that hook wants to come through. It corresponds with the bend of the hook. Push the hook backwards. Right through the dot. There's a flutter head with a 4.75 inch swim bait. Very lively tails on the swim and the drop. Hope this helps you out. Here's some new Tasty Tube rigging videos. As you know, these are injected tubes, and every tail is uniform and cut. No clumping together. We're going to rig a double wire weighted insert. I like to use a little bit of warm oil. You can use Vaseline, you can use chapstick to give us a little slip. Now, we take this, this happens to be a quarter ounce on a 3 aught Matsuo hook. We're going to put the wire guards inside the tube first. Now, you can feel these wire guards inside the tube. We want to get about a quarter inch from the head. It's perfect. Squeeze them together. Push the wire guards through the tube. Continue rigging the tube. Insert. Press down. Easiest way to rig a double wire guard while maintaining the integrity of the tube and not tearing it. We open these wire guards up. Keep them in a straight up position. There you have it. Now we're going to rig an eighth ounce double wire tasty tube insert with an eighth ounce head and a laminated tube. Use a little warm oil for slip. Now with a laminated tube you want to have your dark side to the bottom because that's the side the wire guards are going to come out. Put the two wire guards in the tube dark side to the bottom. Start to rig the tube. Gently press. You can feel those wire guards inside. Bring them through the tube. Continue rigging. Press down. You either hook comes through and we have a perfectly rigged laminated tasty tube with a double wire guard insert. Here's something new for 2013. This is a solid nose tasty tube. This happens to be an eighth ounce one on hook flutter head. The solid nose accepts the coil keeper of the hitchhiker completely with the ability to hold that tube in place. We screw it down, we leave the laminated side up. 
again we're going to lay the hook we're going to go up a little bit farther with this laminate side up lay the hook against the tube to see where that bend is it's just before the end of the tube we're going to rotate the tube to the light side a little bit off center with that we'll pull that back out turn the tube a little bit there we go now we have one of the most rockless tubes available to the angler today with the flutter head maintaining balance sliding across the rocks perfectly rigged bass comes up takes the tube presses down exposes the hook and you got him this will be new in 2000 13 solid nose tasty tube for rigging with the flutter heads Next up we're going to rig several popular baits These two happen to be the chili willy and the undulator These are rigged on eighth ounce heads with double barbs and a single flexible wire guard Which is positioned almost straight up behind the line tie what this does is keep that jig head from going underneath the rocks and it makes it easier to buggy whip out of snags. I insist upon double barbs on my jig heads because it holds the worm or plastic bait very securely without using any glue. Alright, here's the undulator. Going for the top. Keeping it centered inside the worm just around the bend of the hook bring the hook point out in the center of the bait there you have a proper rigged, properly rigged undulator next is the chili willy center of the hook into the bait keeping it in the center of the bait while you work the bait around the hook point. There it is, just around the hook point, bringing it out, pushing it up, and there we go. These baits will float these hooks. That's why I recommend using these hooks, or if you want to pull your own jig heads, use a size number one hook, and the bait will float these up in the air. Next up is a very popular 3.25 inch Predator Crawl. This color happens to be Susquehanna Crawl, very popular with river fishermen. This is an 8 ounce flutter head with a 1 aught Mustad Ultra Point hook. As with all the coil keepers, we center them on the bait, push a little bit as we turn, keeping the coil keeper in the center of the bait. Now we have the detailed side of the predator crawl up. We take our hook, lay it against the back of the bait, take our thumb to mark the point of entry. There's a properly rigged predator crawl. It will sit like this in the water, the claws will float up. Now again, if you get into weed or wood, you can needle stick this hook. Very simply, pull the bait backwards a little bit, just let the tip of the hook go into the worm. Fish hits it, they get the hook. Now we're going to do the CW Smallies Delight. This is a three and a half inch bait. This is a two odd hook on an eighth ounce head. They rig just as easily on a quarter ounce head. Once you start the soft bait on the coil keeper, they will basically thread themselves. Some folks can count the horizontal bars on this to make rigging easier. You know exactly where to place that hook. We can look at this and we can see that this hook is going to want to come out between the second and third bar. 
we're going to turn the bait over two from the end right between the second and third bait hangs straight we'll sit on the bottom like this with the raised tail moving with any type of current or rod movement again if we want a needle stick this bait we'll pull it forward and put the hook in I don't find it necessary to needle stick the bait in rocky water as you can see this is just a tad off centered There's a WW Smallish Delight. This requires a 2 aught must add ultra point on a flutter head and a coil keeper. Now, this head is a little narrower, so you've got to be careful when you rig this. Again, place it in the center. Once it catches on, I find if I pull back on the bait slightly while threading this, it will basically stay in the center of the bait. I like to get that bait all the way up past the clip. There is two little eyes on this WW Smalley's Delight, so that should be the side that you want to rig up. Okay, we're going to turn this bait over. We're going to look and see that that hook wants to go in be right in between the first two horizontal bars. Again, so I line it up. I hold the hook against the bait. You see where the curve is? There you have a properly rigged WW Smallish Delight on an 8th ounce flutter head. Again, this will stand up on the bottom with the design of the flutter head. The claws and the antenna will float up in the air for very life-like action. This is a newcomer to the bait line. This is the two and a half inch baby predator crawl. This goes on a stand-up head because there's not a lot of bait to float this up, but it will float on a stand-up head. Center the hook. Bring that hook around the bend, out of the center of the bait. This will stand up like this on the bottom. Again, you want to have that weed guard almost straight, the wire guard almost straight up behind the line tie eye for proper action against getting snagged in rocky water. Now you'll notice this, this bait has a little twist to it. That's because we did not keep that hook centered all the way through. This is why they'll twist. We'll back it out. Now you'll see the bait is straight. Important to keep that, that hook in the center of the bait when you're rigging it through.